Welcome back, Tater Tuts, to my channel for a new episode of the K-Drama Legacy Generation 1 Fisherman's Daughter Episode 8. So in the last episode, Yuna met up with Do Hwan and Hyung Sik, and they headed off to Colt's house to deliver half of the money that Do Hwan had managed to save up. And Colt was pretty furious that it wasn't the full amount, but thankfully Hyung Sik stepped in and he paid off the rest. And Do Hwan was incredibly grateful, but Yuna was more curious about him. So when hanging out later, she found out that his family owns a few businesses businesses, but that was pretty much all the detail that he gave her. And she ended up going fishing with her dad, who mentioned that he happened to see her with a young man, which he ended up telling her mom about and was therefore forced to invite him to dinner at their house, which needless to say, it was an embarrassing experience for her. And that is where it leads us to the start of today's episode. The weekend had finally arrived and I couldn't be happier about it. Work had been so hectic and crazy this week, so I was feeling pretty burned out. Not to mention how embarrassed I was still feeling after the whole dinner fiasco. I mean, I guess it wasn't terrible, but why did mom have to dig into his personal life and keep mentioning how single I am? Way to make me look desperate. Thankfully, Hyung Sik's a nice guy, so he laughed and went along with it, but still, part of me felt hopeful he might consider it, but... I need to wipe thoughts like that from my mind. No way would someone like him be interested in a small island girl like me. These are the things I tell myself, but then my hope creeps back in. <sighs> Especially when things like this happen. A text from Hyung Sik asking me if I want to hang out. We all know the answer to that. Of course. I headed out towards the docks near a small shopping district not too far from the market. It was a peaceful, nice place with a lot of small homes nearby. Most people come here for the scenery and the boba. I saw Hyung Sik sitting at a table, looking out over the ocean. His profile was... Oh, stunning. Is that the right word for it? I don't know, but my stomach immediately started to turn into knots. Hey, sorry if I kept you waiting. I called out to him. He turned to look at me and smiled. Nah, not at all. I haven't been here long. So, uh... What have you been up to? Me? Oh, not too much. Just helping mom out with some errands. He let out a small laugh and stood up. Your mom's an inquisitive one. I put my palm to my face to cover my humiliation. I'm so, so sorry. My mom's like that with any guy my age. You know, because of all the blind date stuff. She never lets it go. I can't apologize enough for how things went. He leaned forward, looking at me. You don't need to apologize for anything family is family, and they always tend to do what we don't want. Besides, he drew closer to me and smirked. What if I wanted to be considered a prospect? Do you think I'd be accepted? I was taken aback. I had no idea how to respond. My mind went completely blank. There's no way he could seriously mean that. Before I could answer or think much, someone called out to us. Hyungsik Park? I didn't think I'd see you here. What a pleasant surprise. I turned to see who it was. Her legs were long and sleek. Her waist, small and curvy. And she was, well, let's say a lot more in doubt than myself. Her hair and makeup were perfectly styled. She looked like a model. She was gorgeous. And she knew Hyung Sik. So he Han. I'm just as surprised to see you here as you are me. This isn't your usual scene. She laughed. <laughs> you know me all too well. A girl like me has to get out of the city at some point, not to mention escaping from some of the responsibilities that come along with it. Just then she walked forward and leaned in next to Hyung Sik's ear and whispered something to him. I could feel a pang of jealousy as I watched. She knew him and obviously pretty well. What was she whispering to him? Were they a thing? I mean, look at her. How could he not be into her? She's stunning. And look at me. It's like comparing a potato to a pineapple. One is pretty bland with not much color, and the other one is vibrant and unique, standing out above the rest. She finally leaned back and turned her attention towards me. You? And your name is... Uh, Yuna. Yuna Yu. I felt so intimidated with her looking right at me. She smiled. Well, 
Yuna. I'll let you get back to it. Sorry to interrupt, just needed to talk real quick. She then winked and walked off. I looked over at Hyungsik, only to see him watching her leave. I couldn't quite read his face. I didn't know what was going on in his head, but I guess it's not my business to know. Um, I can leave if I need to, I said quietly. He turned to look at me and cleared his throat. <clears> throat> um, no, no, uh, sorry about that. Let's get back to what we were doing. I hesitated for a moment and finally got the courage up to ask. So, who was that? He scratched the back of his head. Her? She's just someone I know from back home. I ran through the options of what I could say next and finally decided to be more upfront. She's gorgeous. Don't see too many girls like her around here. He let out a small laugh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she does a lot of modeling in the city. I could feel my heart sinking a bit. After all, he technically just admitted that she was pretty, right? I mean, who wouldn't? The awkwardness was resonating in the air. I knew I needed to change the subject. Uh, hey, let's get some of the boba near here. That's what most people do in this area. It's really good. I put on a smile. This seemed to break him out of his thoughts. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's do it. We headed off towards the boba shop, but I couldn't erase from my mind his comment from earlier. Was he saying that he was interested in dating me or was he just teasing me? Plus, what about that girl? He had to be teasing me. There's no way I could compare to someone like her. I let out a sigh. <sighs> best to just smile and do my best to enjoy myself. I mean, I can always look. And with that, I did my best to lighten the mood. Yuna and Hyunsik have just arrived over near the boba tea shop. And so they are just chatting. She's trying to make casual conversation because she doesn't want things to be awkward after everything that just happened with meeting um, Soe. And so, yeah, they are just trying to chat it up. She's like, so uh, you want to get some of that bubble bubba tea? It's bubba tea? Boba tea. <laughs> it's really good, I promise. And look, she just got an adoring sentiment with him. But this is where we are at. So it's nearby that little shopping district that they were just in so we are going to come on in and we are going to order a drink so let's see we've got strawberry matcha latte bubble tea chocolate milk with cheese foam taro mango lychee i think we're gonna get her a strawberry matcha i think that one sounds really good so we'll go ahead and have her do that and so she is heading off to go grab one. Looks like he's checking his phone messages real quick. I might, should I? I might add him to my family. No, I don't want to do that. I could do it just so I can control him to make sure he gets a tea, but you know what? It is what it is. So let's just pretend she's in here ordering for her and him. So yeah, she's in here like, yeah, I'd love you know to get a strawberry matcha bubble tea please and so hyung six like man that looks so good look he's thinking about woohoo boy look at that that looks so good it looks so cute omg don't you <gasps> oh i thought songko was about to come and take my drink don't you dare you're our daddy's best friend but don't don't think you got those kind of privileges but anyway so we have our tea so i think we should go over and sit and chat together somewhere and just have a kind of a little conversation because she she's curious you know she wants to know more look at these cute little s'mores sitting here <gasps> precious okay anyways so they're coming out and he's like so uh you wanted to ask me about something and she's like well yeah I just I wanted to make sure that you're okay I mean I don't really know what happened back there did she whisper like she whispered something to you like are you okay and he's like, you know, I, yeah, I am okay. Is he getting himself something? To, yeah, I think he's ordering himself something. Is he? Is he? He came all the way back in here. I feel like he must be. But anyway, she's going to come talk to him. Just pretend that, you know, it's the Sims. Pretend they're sitting and chatting, but we know that that doesn't ever happen. <laughs> and so he's like, uh, you know, it's nothing important. And she's like, well, I that's kind of hard for me to believe when you know you're the way you're 
kind of acting. You seem a little bit zoned out. And he's like, you know, it's it's nothing that you need to worry yourself about. So please don't stress about it. And she's like, oh, okay. And she can tell that he's kind of hesitant to talk about the subject. And so she's just going to kind of change the subject and chat with him about a few other things. So she's like, so um, I want to tell you a secret. And he's like, okay, well, what's the secret? And she's like, well, um, so you know me and Do Juan, like, you know, what do you think about them? He's like, oh, well, I think they're both really awesome. You know, I think <laughs> mean, she's definitely her own kind of personality. She's definitely a strong willed girl. And he's like, Do Juan, he's, he's kind of a goofball, like, but I really love him. Like, I, I think he's such a great comic relief, especially like when it comes to being like stressed out about things. He's like, it's just, it's so, it's so great to be able to <laughs> have someone like him around because he just really lightens the mood. And he's just, he's a really good guy though at heart. And I did not invite you to come sit with me. Move your tush, sir. <laughs> Mr. Daisuke, please get out of the way. We are trying to talk to our boy over here. So anyway, scoot on over, Yuna. Oh my gosh, of course they're going to sit far away. Okay, we're just going to have to keep pretending. Um, hey, Yuna, it's me. Go out on a date. Boy, you're sitting right next to me. Are you, <laughs> You're really asking us on a date? Okay, we're going to say... <sighs> gosh we're gonna say no thanks right now just because I mean obviously we're together already so that makes no sense I'm very confused <laughs> um but you know uh that's that's good to know he's asking us out on a date so oh my goodness look at him he's just coming over here do some yoga whatever um ask to swing with yeah let's just do that because we're trying to have a conversation like stop stop changing things boy so she is already over here swinging and is he coming where is he? There he is. Okay, so we're going to continue our conversation. And she's like, so you like both Mina and Dohuan? He's like, yeah, I think they're great. You got some really great friends there. And she's like, well, let me tell you my little secret that I know. And he's like, yeah, what's that? She's like, so Dohuan has a huge crush on me, like insane. And he's like, oh, well, I kind of already assumed that the way he's always flirting with her. But, you know, he is kind of a flirtatious guy. And she's like, yeah, well, he's like crazy into her. And so... Um, I, I'm trying to help both of them without them knowing that I'm helping them because I think Mean is interested, but she's not really one to make the first move. And so she's going to try to get Do Juan to make the first move. But, you know, it's just, I don't know if it's going to work out like that. I might have to push Do Juan a little bit. And he's like, oh, no, I, I totally get that. So I think that that's pretty funny that he, I mean, I think it was kind of obvious, like most people would probably be able to tell that Do Juan's interested in her. So it's just really funny. So, okay, I need her to come back over here. I was trying to get her to, um, we'll ask about another sim. We'll just ask about someone random, okay? We're just, uh, we're gonna come and ask him what he thinks of her dad. And oh my gosh, look who's here. <gasps> it's Colt. Colt came to get himself a boba. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh, these two are still flirting and hanging out with each other. He's just going to totally try to ignore them. I like Shanae. He's pretty cool. So he does like her dad. He thinks that he is a pretty cool guy. So that is good to know. So, okay. So she is going to try to keep the conversation going the way that it's going because it seems more lighthearted now. But he is bringing up the topic to her now and he's like so uh we're gonna flirt for a second with him um he's like so uh is there anyone that you're interested in and yuna's like me um well you know that's uh that's a great question um i'm i maybe i'm not quite sure yet and he's like oh really maybe and she, so now she's going to turn around and ask him. She's like, well, what about you? Are you interested in someone? And he's just so upfront. Like, he just straight is telling her. He's like, yeah, actually I am. And now so she's feeling like uneasy. Like, oh, so he's interested in someone? Like, is he interested? Is it Zoe? The girl that I met earlier today? Is that who he's interested in? And so she really doesn't know. And so she's feeling kind of just questionable about it. But I want her to try to flirt with him to see what he does, which he is flirting. Oh, there we go. He did the little wave. 
but they still don't have any kind of a romance bar. So let's just try to ask him some questions. She's going to compliment his appearance just to try to give him, you know, a confidence boost and just to see how he kind of takes some of her compliments. Oh my gosh, they have a relationship line. Alert, alert. So he is flirting a bit with her. <gasps> OMG, I'm so excited. But he did admit that he likes somebody, but he's being really, look, he just left. Oh my gosh, he left us. But he was being really mysterious about it and just like he said, yeah, and that was like about it. And so she's, she's feeling happy because he definitely flirted with her. And, you know, it was a fun conversation. She enjoyed the tease that it was. And, dude, I'm about to kick you in the face because you were standing right in front of my swing. <laughs> but she's also like, well, should I have said yes to the question that I'm interested in somebody? I, she's like, I said I don't know and maybe because I just, I didn't want him to think I'm taken. But maybe he took this the wrong way and uh, I, I, she just doesn't know. She's stressing out. And so she's like, I need to talk to Mean about all of this. Like how this went down, what happened this morning. Like she needs to know and I need to talk to somebody about it. So I'm going to text her and see if she is available because we need our bestie. We need her now. So let's, uh, let's send her a text. She's like, mean, oh my gosh, are you available? And she's like, yeah, girl, I'm actually headed to the island temple. Like, would you want to come with me? And she's like, ah, yeah, girl, I guess I can show up there. And that way we can talk about it. I've got so much I need to tell you. And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm stressing out. Like, who does he have a crush on? I, oh my gosh, it's definitely got to be so weird. There's no way that it can't be. So, all right, we are going to go ahead and head on over to the island temple and go and visit to see where Mean is at. And girl, are you wearing a wedding dress? Like, I don't know what is going on. You got a veil on your head. You got a bag in your hand. There's just too much going on. So that is our cue to leave. We have arrived with Mean outside of the local temple here in the island or on the island. And this guy is just over here swimming around right in the pond. But okay, so we are going to come over here and have a little chat with our bestie. So that way we can talk about everything and look at all these cats because guys, they, there is here, at least on the island of Sulani, at least in my story, they, there is a god here that is, um, like has a connection with cats. And so that's why they have all these cat statues everywhere to give offerings and things like that. So she's like, okay, mean, I have something serious that I need to talk to you about. She's like, okay, girl, tell me what happened. I need to know the whole story. And she's like, well, okay. So I was with young sick earlier right he invited me out she's like yeah so what happened she's like well we were meeting up and then this girl showed up named Soe Han and he apparently knows her somehow and she knows him but she was gorgeous she's like a model like I don't even think I could compare to her like her legs were so long like her waist is so small like she's just she's stunning if you saw her like you would know exactly what I mean and she's like girl okay calm down calm down like take a deep breath keep talking to me Let's, let's go about this. She's like, well, so yeah. So she showed up and then she like whispered something in his ear. He got like serious looking kind of, and then she left. And I asked him about her and he told me that she does do modeling and he admitted that she is beautiful. And then later we went to the beach to go get the boba teas. And you know what he said? Like I, I, I told him like, he asked if I was interested in anybody. And so I told him that I'm not sure I might be. And then I asked him the same question. And then you know what he said? And she's like, what? She's like, he said, yeah, he was. And I just, I'm, I just know, I just know it's gotta be so he. And she's like, girl, you need to take a deep breath, okay? Like you always stress out about the littlest of things. And for all you know, he's talking about you. And she's like, I, I doubt that. And she's like, look, Hyung Sik's a pretty cool guy. So I really wouldn't stress yourself out. And besides, girl, first problem is you not being honest with your feelings. She's like, what do you mean? She's like, he asked you if you're interested in somebody and you told him maybe you should have said yes. She's like, but what if he took it the wrong way? She's like, well, then that's his problem. That's when you two need to talk about it and figure out what's going on. And she's like, have you flirted with him at all? And she's like, yeah, actually, I did flirt with him and he he did flirt back. Like we had a really good time actually about it. 
and no, she's not hot-headed. I'm not going to go with that. And she's like, oh, so there was flirting involved. She's like, oh my gosh, like, mean, I can't help it, okay? Like, yes, there were, there was flirting, and he was so cute, and ah, girl, he just, he just makes my heart pitter-patter. And one of my favorite festivals is in town. Let's go down to the Spice Festival and see what they have to sample. Sorry, Do Juan, we are not doing that. Um, we are in the middle of talking with our bestie. And so Mina's just like, girl, do you need to, do we need to do something together? Like, let's come over here to this pond and let's have some, like, vaults. Can we just relax? Can we stand on these? I don't even know. Look at this waterfall. <gasps> so gorgeous. I love it. So I feel like you shouldn't be swimming in, at a temple. <laughs> If you know what I mean. I feel like that would be a little bit awkward, but you know, to each their own, I guess. Maybe we can have them. Oh, she can't do that because she's too tense. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's cry on mean for just a minute so we can relieve all of our stresses. And look at all these little candles that are lit. It's just so cute. And I need to see this part of the island. <gasps> Oh, there's a swing over there. There's like a big, what is that? A mouse? A monkey? Statue? Thing? A jet ski just chilling out there. I didn't even realize it, but it looks like Yuna got called into work, so she had to leave. She thought it, she was going to have the weekend off, but they decided to give her some extra shifts, and then she decided last minute, like, yeah, I guess I could definitely use that. So that way she gets some extra money. So she had to leave Mean on a little bit of a sad note. And Mean was just reminding her as she headed off towards the bus stop to head off, off to work. She was like, girl, just remember, like, everything's going to be okay. Like, you just have to take your time with it. And like, you guys just met recently. So don't stress out about it. I know it's been a few weeks and you've been hanging out and things like that. But, you know, one step at a time. And you don't know who he was talking about. So don't don't just assume things. And so she's trying her hardest not to assume, but I know that that's a lot easier said than done. So anyways, we are back here with her family while she is off at work. She doesn't get home until like 2 a.m., right? Yeah, 2 a.m. And hopefully we'll be able to get her promoted here soon. She's been working really hard as a mixologist, but man, she sure does hate the hours, like being up in the middle of the night like that. Like it's just really messing up her schedule. And she does know that the weekends are the best time to make you know, extra money because that's when everybody's out at the bars and drinking and things like that. And so Hanyul here, she is just spending some time with her mom, catching up. Her mom wanted to know, how did everything go with that school? She's like, you know, it's going good. She's been working hard on a grade. She's a B student. So her mom's pretty pleased with that, but wishes she would be an A, of course. And then she's like, so mom, what's the whole situation with that guy that came over the other night? She's like, oh, you mean the young man named Hyung Sik? And she's like, uh, yeah, that guy that was is like a friend of Yuna's or something. He's from out of town. She's like, oh, well, you know, he's a very handsome young man. I'll have to ask Yuna more about him. But, you know, I think he's definitely a prospect. And then she's like, oh, my gosh, mom, like, why are you always trying so hard? She's like, because I just... I got to make sure I have grandkids in the future. She's like, oh my gosh, mom, like there's so much time for that. Like stop worrying about it. So Hanul's kind of on her sister's side, but at the same time, she just doesn't want to get too involved in it because she kind of likes that her mom is more focused on her sister because then that way she's not focused on her and she's kind of can get away with more things that she wants to do and being in trouble. And sorry, Hanul, we need to get you in here working on some of your acne. So we will have her apply a facial cleanser to try to help a little bit I did not realize she was breaking out so bad so so sorry honey good morning everyone Yuna has woken up she got home super late around like 2 30 a.m last night from her shift and she unfortunately didn't get the promote blah 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 she didn't get the promotion last night but she's pretty sure she can get it tonight if she goes in for this extra shift so she's definitely going to do that but her mom has been in here since her dad and sister are outside meditating together she's like so honey tell me um have you seen that young sick boy lately and she's like oh my gosh mom i mean yeah i've been hanging out with him and she's like oh well that's a wonderful news he was such a nice young man he was so polite and respectful and he's so handsome so definitely keep spending time with him i don't mind at all and she's like oh my gosh mom and 
So yeah, she's definitely can tell that her mom is pushing for that, which she doesn't fully mind, but you know, it's still one of those things that's just kind of annoying and not something that she wants to deal with. So we're gonna go ahead and have our girl get ready. She does need to take a shower. So we'll have her do that and look at them. They're so cute. So I was just out here watching them. She's like, oh, father daughter time with all of their um, meditating and just relaxing, enjoying the beautiful weather outside. It's warm today and not too hot, which is great since it is summer at the moment. So we'll go ahead and get Hanul. She does need to come and use the mirror to put some face wash on because our girl she's still got all that acne we need to help her out as best as we can Yuna should finish up the shower here in just a minute I hope I hope come on girl finish up right before your sister gets in here there we go just in time but she's probably still gonna get an embarrassed mood lift from seeing her sister or not she's like hey sis how you doing of course why is everything breaking right now like for real 150 like we don't have money to just fix that so we'll have their dad come in here he's kind of the repair man and have him work on that and then let's see we have that's right so she's going to have to get the promotion tonight and then oh we'd love to have you join at punchlines what do you think um no I mean we are not joining any kind of a club at the moment Regardless, Mean has just texted uh, Yuna to ask her if she wants to go to the beach with her today since it's such a nice afternoon. So, of course, um, not Mean. Oh my gosh, I'm confusing everybody's names now. <laughs> of course, Yuna is like, yeah, girl, I'll meet you there. Yuna and Mean have arrived at the beach near their house and Yuna is just so sad. Like, it's been so so depressing watching her she's just like oh thinking about everything and means like girl come on cheer up like don't do this to me you need to be cheerful and happy and of course i see you over there dohuan don't you think you're being sneaky i know those shorts and that those tats anywhere he's always trying to find me look he's trying to be so subtle and he's like she won't see me if i hide over here but i'm always watching her don't be a creeper okay dohuan like don't be a stalker but she's like, I mean, I just, I can't stop thinking about things. Like it was so hard for me to at work last night. Like I just saw all these couples at the bar and it just made me feel so, oh, so sad and just depressed with myself and wishing that I had done something different or like, you're right. Maybe I should have said yes. I'm just not sure. Yuna and Mean are over here at chatting and Dohuan has decided to show up. And oh my gosh, look who's back here. It's Sohee Han. So we are going to, um, let's see if we can just, I wanted to call her over, but I guess she's too far away. So let's just try to discuss some interests with her. We're like, Mean, oh my gosh, that's her. She's like, what? Who? She's like, Zoe. So Mean's looking over and she's like, oh my gosh, Yuna was not lying. She is gorgeous. And Yuna's like, hey, uh, Zoe, how are you? And she's like, oh, uh, Yuna, right? That was your name? And she's like, yeah. She's like, so, uh, do you have fun with Hyungsik yesterday? And she's like, oh, yeah, we were, we were just getting some of the boba tea here and um, here near the the village. And so it's one of the popular places. And she's like, oh, okay, well, that's nice. Look, she's so bored the conversation. But she's asking her, she's like, so, um, I was just curious, how do you and Hyungsik know each other? She's like, oh, me and Hyungsik, uh, we've known each other for a long time. She's like, oh, look, she's getting all sad and depressed. Mean, get yourself over here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this girl to our group so we don't lose her. Add to group. Okay, let's see. Can we make many sand sculptures together? Let's just get them all having a good old time just so that they'll stay together. <laughs> okay, so Mean is like, uh, so, hi, my name's Mean, nice to meet you. And so he's like, uh, yeah, so, yeah, my name's Sohee, it's nice to meet you guys too. And oh my gosh, don't you dare run off, girl, no. No, 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 the sim needs to be invited first. Invite to build a sand sculpture, there we go. Okay, so let's do that, let's see if she'll come back over. Um, I didn't know if you can have three of them, but I guess you can. <gasps> Perfect. 
Okay, so this works out really well. So Min's like, so yeah, she tells me that you know Hyung Sik, and she's like, yeah, as I was telling her, I've known him for a really long time, actually since we were kids, since our childhood. And so she's like, oh, interesting. So you guys have known each other for quite a long time. And so he's like, yeah, so what about it? And Min's like, oh, well, I was just curious. I mean, you guys seem like you might be pretty close. And she's like, are you insinuating that me and Hyung Sik are in a relationship? It means like, well, are you not? And she's like, no, absolutely not. Hyung Sik's like, he's like a brother to me. I would never be with him like that. Like, are you kidding me? And Yuna's like, oh, like she is feeling so much excitement welling up inside of her. Like she does not know what to think of this. I'm going to have her come and swing with Sohi so that they can continue this conversation. And she's also like, um, so then when we met earlier yesterday, what were you talking to Hyung Sik about? She's like, oh, that, um, you know, some things aren't really my place to say. I'm going to leave that up to Hyung Sik. He can decide if he's going to talk about that or not. But I was just passing along a message. That's all. And she's like, a message. And she's like, yeah, just don't worry about it. it you know, it's, it's not my business to tell you and it's not really your business to know, not trying to sound like a jerk about it. And she's like, oh, well, okay, I appreciate you letting me know. And she's like, but you know, girl, I'm going to be honest with you. And she's like, yeah, well, I've never known Young Sik to be one to actually invite a girl out of his own accord. So it's pretty interesting seeing the sight of him. And she's like, what do you mean? She's like, I exactly what I said. I mean, I've never seen him invite a girl like back in the city. Like usually he's just always doing his own thing. Like he's always surrounded by girls. She's like, oh, really? He's always surrounded by girls. She's not feeling good about that. She's like, no, come back, come back. I, I didn't mean it like that. And dang girl, look at your swimsuit. Dang, this girl, she, she be on fire over here. Of course, look at her. She got her you know what's hanging out and oh in the back too dang so he girl you going hard she going hard she's like but surrounded by girls she's like i don't mean like that not like he's a player she's like it's just you know he's an attractive guy and so girls just kind of flock to him and she's like oh is that what you mean no biggie then right and she's like girl stop worrying about it like just talk to him like i i'm pretty sure he probably likes you she's like that's hard for me to believe when he has a friend like you like you're gorgeous and she's like oh my gosh this girl like seriously she just keeps denying everything I'm trying to say like I'm trying to help her and she's not listening and so we girl we see you we see you trying to help and we appreciate it I know I know it's hard she's not like the most uh, eloquent when it comes to her words or talking and so she's just like you know Oh, I don't have time for all this nonsense. Like, people just need to say what they mean and just move on. We once again loaded out of the lot because Yuna has headed off to work once again, but I'm thinking that we should be able to get that promotion tonight. I'm really, really hopeful for it. So we'll have to see when it gets a bit closer. But Hanyul here, she seems to be doing really well. Looks like she's gonna throw away something, so I won't interrupt that. We do need to fill this bowl up for Baram. And then I think I'll have Hanyul take him out for a jog. He could definitely use the exercise and I think it would be good for her too. And then we'll also have her come over here to do her acne, um, conceal, apply her facial cleanser. Girl, just just keep working on it. You're going to get it. She's going to skip prom. I'm not going to go to prom with Hanyul. We're not focused on her, but <gasps> I think it's looking better, don't you? I, I think it looks a little better. But okay, where is Abaram? There he is. Let's go. We are going to go for a jog. Come on, boy. Please don't be so sad. Hanyul, stop watching rom-coms. She is seriously such a little romantic. She loves the rom-coms. Oh my gosh. Of course, you just had to do that, didn't you? And so, because isn't her one of her traits romantic? I forget. Yeah, she's romantic. She's a lover. She's relatable. And all oh, poor thing began puberty. So yeah, she's she's going through all the feels right now. But we'll send her out. She's doing her thing, trying to clear her mind of all the stresses. And Soha looks like she might be a little tense and uncomfortable. She's like, things are just disgusting here. I need to clean up the house. It's just a mess. Oh my gosh, did our fridge break? <gasps> 
Of course it did. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to get him to come over here and repair it. Please don't die, Chen Hei. Please don't die. Please don't die. Just repair it and we're gonna move on and hope that everything will be fine because it is not my plans for him to pass away. And if he does, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm probably just gonna bring him back <laughs> because that's just not acceptable. That's not a part of my storyline. While Hanyul is out jogging, she has once again run into Colt who seems to be doing a night jog. And so she is trying to just smooth things over. She's like, hey, look, I'm sorry for the way I came across the other day. I hope you'll forgive me. And oh, it looks like uh, Soa has had an idea about how to improve her repair skills. But OK, it looks like that things did go better. They're having positives. And I just want to see, she's going to mock an uncool adult just because she's still trying to complain about things. And just to see, she's feeling uncomfortable. Why? Oh, fatigued from working out. She's like, yeah, this is my, my dog Barham. And he's like, oh yeah, I've got a dog too. He's a, he's a Rottweiler. And she's like, oh, that's pretty cool. We should take him for a walk sometime. He's like, uh, aren't you still in high school? And she's like, uh, yeah, I'm going to be graduating though. Not too long, just a few more months. And he's like, Oh, well, you know, I guess if, you know, after you graduate, maybe, but not right now. I'm not going to associate myself with a high schooler. And she's like, uh, okay, see ya. So she is heading on back home because Cole decided to just lay it on her thick and just be a jerk about it. So she's feeling a little sad. She's like, okay, well, I tried. I tried to talk nicely to him. Oh, there's the fish market. Look how cute it is. And so she was trying her best to, you know, make a tense situation better. But, you know, it is what it is. She is younger and she does like the bad boy aesthetic or, you know, aura about him, I guess. But she knows she is too young. And so she's just going to have to kind of let that go. And then we've got, you know, Chin Hei and Soa over here. They are just being so cute and having couples meditation and just taking deep breaths, enjoying the quiet and peace while the kids are gone away from home. But I do think we need to send them on to bed here soon because um, Yuna will be needing to come home from work, which I think we will get that promotion. Like I did say, it looks like Hanyul is back with Barum, so things are going well in that aspect. So let's go ahead and get her to use the bathroom take a shower. I guess she can take a steamy shower as she thinks about Colt and his muscles and getting to see him in a swimsuit again. Yuna has just gotten home and has indeed gotten her promotion to line cook. She'll now make an additional eight simoleons per hour for a grand total of 43. She's received the bonus of 556 simoleons, corporate chic counter island, new clothes, and her next shift is Sunday at 2 p.m. So she'll be working 2 to 10. So it's better than the middle of the night, but it is still quite a lot of hours. But look at her. She's so excited because she's finally starting to achieve her dream. She's finally starting to become an actual cook. She's finally made her way up the ranks and will be actually in the kitchen helping the other chefs to cook. It's not like the most extravagant job because she's still like in a line with all the other cooks and not like the master cooks. But you know, it is perfect progress. Good afternoon everyone. Yuna is currently getting herself ready to go to her very first shift as a line cook. So she came and well at least when she woke up earlier this morning she woke up. Youngsik wants to come over and hang out. Is that okay? Yes of course definitely. And so he's wanting to see her. She's like look I'm about to head off to work but you could definitely come by if you want but I'm gonna be leaving like and within an hour and he's like no absolutely I'd I'd love to stop by which I don't currently see him so I don't know is he coming or is he not maybe she told him and then he was like oh no I'll catch you later another time so I guess maybe that's the case but yeah our girl she came in and she at least this morning when she woke up she told her mom and dad about her promotion they're both really excited about her her mom's like yay you know she's happy her daughter's making more money to make herself more financially stable but she's not like thrilled and then her dad though is like whispering to her he's like oh my gosh honey you're getting closer to your goal i'm so stoked for you so everybody is really really happy and so yeah she is wanting to 
try to make plans she talked with mean about it and mean had told her like girl i think you should try to make the first move with hyung sik like maybe you try to invite him out where the, the two of you can just be alone and chat and talk but hyung sik how he messaged her this morning already he's already sent her another text and he's like hey so i want to invite you mean and dohwan to come to the hotel here on the island like you know the big one and she's like the big one like you, you are you talking about that really fancy expensive one and he's like yeah that one she's like why would we go there he's like well i'm actually staying there right now and i just thought it'd be great for you to guys to come over and take advantage of what it has to offer and just to enjoy yourselves and so uh yeah they've got some plans of things that they can do and so we're gonna have to see what happens she's like yeah let me check with mina do juan i do have work here in a few minutes so i'll let you know i'll send them a message when i get home yuna has just gotten home from work and she is currently she was chatting with mean i mean i'm sleeping call later and she's like look i've got something to ask you like we were invited by hyung sik to go to that hotel here on the island and she's like oh my gosh girl like i'm so tired please talk to me about it tomorrow and she's like fine so yeah we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to message our friends to see what they think and um see when they want to go do that what day so we're gonna have to get those things all planned out but i did want to take a look at soe's profile so yuna thinks she's strong-minded so the sim is has a very confident empowered vibe be it real or just a facade which is definitely true of her and then she thinks yuna is responsible but they do have good compatibility so i do think that Yuna has a chance of becoming pretty good friends with Sohi because she's, I feel like she's a really good balance for her because she's really confident and she could give Yuna that boost she needs of like self esteem. But now she also knows that she's not in a relationship with Hyung Sik and that they're just childhood friends and that even better, she views him as a brother. And look at all these sentiments growing closer from quality time, happy memories, adoring, like romantic interest. It's too early to tell but there could definitely be something there so oh there are a lot of really great options and i just realized no wonder these two get along hyung sik and chin hae are both children of the ocean so they both really like to swim and enjoy being out in the water he i'm sure we'll find out more about why hyung sik likes that and everything as we go along but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here we will have to see what happens so i'm really excited so thank you guys so much for joining me on a new episode of the k-drama legacy if you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing so that you don't miss the future episodes and please hit that like button and leave a comment if you like this episode let me know what you guys think which characters are you loving who are you shipping uh, i'm just i'm having so much fun with this one in the storyline i've got more things planned and things coming down so keep your eyes peeled everyone so once again tater tots thank you so much and i will catch you next time see ya Cause girl, you